Good morning and welcome to another video. Today we are in the Lake District again. I'm going to be taking on the Oldswater Way, which is a 20 mile route round the Lake Oldswater. Today I'm joined by the usual gang. I've got Gaz, Mike, and a new lad, Jay. I'll introduce you to them in a second just while they get the kit sorted. So I'll bring you back. Everyone's sorted and we're on our way. Are you ready for this one, Gaz? Yep, today hopefully it won't be as bad as uh, Scarfell Pike, <laughs> ain't gonna lie. <laughs> oh. Gonna be nowhere near as bad that, mate. Some, just some, longer. Some adjustments on the shoes so I haven't got nan bread feet. Um, but yeah. Extra pair of socks. Extra pair of socks. Blister but, pastas. Yep, the, yeah. the works, but yeah, all good. Bit of fuel before we start. That's and it. all for a good cause, mine charity. Skittle vodka in there, Gaz? No, nope, that's no. for at the end of the day, Skittle vodka. <laughs> Mikey? Yeah, you ready for it? I'm ready. Happy days. Let's do it. Everybody, this is Jay. This is his first jaunt with us. How you doing, Jay? Looks very much like the bow selector there. Don't be getting that tail popping up, lad. <laughs> <laughs> So we just started off from Pooley Bridge Car Park and we're on our way. Get <laughs> state of them three there. <laughs> yeah, so we're doing this walk for charity, mind. So I will put the link to the Just Giving page in the description at the bottom. So if you've got a couple of quid, just stick it in. Gaz is moaning already. <laughs> He's at it already. Yeah, I shall bring you back when anything interesting happens. Look at the views. This is a walk, that wasn't the other day, that was a climb. Abbott's best friends in the distance there. Get your wellies on. Oh, Rita! Oh, look. A bit more wildlife for the channel. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Take me, Gas! Take me! <laughs> oh, where's me nuts? <laughs> Nutty. <laughs> the bear in his natural habitat. <laughs> Onwards. Yeah, he's marching. Left or right, mate. Right. Keeps too early, like Scarfell. <laughs> <laughs> just stick me back here using your wellies, please, love. So this hill just behind me here, the lads are just walking up. It's an old Iron Age farmstead. So that would have dated between 800 BC and 43 AD. So it's old, older than your gran. Yeah, and it would have housed about 25 to 30 people, along with as well as cattle, sheep, etc. Who says you didn't get history on here, eh? Views opening up now. Are we finding it, boys, up to now? Yeah, yeah, it's all right. It's a nice walk so far, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. We're all we're all going strong. Jay's doing all right in his uh his pink lady t-shirt. <laughs> oh, suits you, sir. The long and winding road. Swim diesel, are we finding it? You not got your vest on today? This is the day for it. Does yours break left? As does. Oh, Rita! You ever see, ever see a Billy like Goat's that? gruff. I bet we've won this guy. Thou shall not pass. That way it is. 
So we've uh, we've gone and found two Bill Oddies here talking about birds and all that. What's that one over there, Gaz? Five foot eight, <laughs> six double D blonde hair, blue eyes. <laughs> Perfect top. He's he's uh, he's delusional. He's he's uh, hallucinating. <laughs> oh, lovely. Crap, we use them, aren't they? <laughs> Lovely day for it. We've got 19 degrees today. Winning. So, just at the point now where you can go one or two ways, you can either cross <laughs> past the field through this fence post here, or you can carry on down the road. Depending on what type of day, if it's, if it's raining, then I suggest you go oh, the road way. It's probably get pretty boggy. Oh! So, we've, we've just realised that there's Bulls in the field over there, and Jay's got a red back on. <laughs> You're on your own, Jay. You're on your own. It one's clocked him already. He's just stood up. Bollocks on that thing. <laughs> Thought that was Dave McCaffrey lay down in the field there. The silver fox. Gonna... Priest crack just in front of us. Just want to say thank you to everyone that's donated so far. It's much appreciated. And also for the people that have been commenting on the videos, liking the videos, and subscribing as well. I've had a few subscribers since the last one. Much appreciated. And I also want to say good luck to Paul Rossiter, who's doing Scarf Our Pike today, speaking soon over the last week. You'll smash it, lad. Thank you. How's the new pants, Jay? Fucking warm. <laughs> so, uh, Jay invested in some new pants. <laughs> some new shoes shoes are fine we've got winter pants and it's 19 degrees and 85 percent humidity he's got a reservoir in his gooch <laughs> views are spectacular boys they're going strong so there's three of these stones on route they represent shepherding in the area so they're called the Herdwich Stones and they represent the types of sheep in this area that are colonised to this area from here to Coniston. Oh right, yeah, it's the horn, isn't it? Yeah. I thought it was a prawn. That interests you, that? Yeah. <laughs> was you interested in that, Jay? I went a little bit. I thought it was, like I said, I thought it was a prawn. You thought it was a prawn? <laughs> yeah, I can, I, can, I can see where you get that. <laughs> Put one of them shrimps on the barbie! <laughs> As views go, I don't think there's much better than that. Spectacular. Again, we picked a cracking day. Let's come up to another one of them stones. Oh look, Jake's another prawn. <laughs> danger, danger! My voltage! <laughs> so we're in Mike's natural habitat. Jurassic Park. Alright. Mike's just said, Oh Betty. <laughs> I think it'd be rude not to uh, have a seat here. With that behind us. Well, Rita! <laughs> Up onto Garbaro. Look at him there, uh, like a young Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> Nearly at the summit of Garbaro fell now. Okay, 250 yards. 
pit stop for something to eat. Full pack of Jaffa cakes gone. Oh, Betty! Did it, did it, did it. Did it, 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 but the only wind up here is out of my backside. <laughs> Garbauer fell 481 meters above sea level. We're using the distance over to Howell Vallon. Howell Vallon, lower man. I don't think you can quite see Katsy Cam in the foreground. There he is. The sheep voyeur. <laughs> Apparently, he got its consent. So look at its big pair of hairy bollocks. So that's where we've just come down from. Oh, Betty! And we're just heading down this way towards Air of Force, which is the waterfalls, which we're all quite looking forward to. So I'll bring you back when we get there. Just at the top of Air of Force waterfalls. High Cascades Bridge. Oh, Betty! <laughs> Didn't that? My cab it there. How are we? How are we? White Tower. <laughs> How's it going, mate? Soldiering on. Soldiering. Smashing it, mate. What are we? Six and a half in? Six and a half mile in? Yeah, yeah winning, mate. Whoa! That's that's high, that isn't it? Jesus! Just get out of force now. Don't look over there if you don't like hikes, like I've just done. That is very, very high, but impressive. Making that drop there off there. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a bit high, that one, it? Yeah, you, you might need some plasters after it. 65 feet, apparently, that, that bit of waterfall was. 65 feet. No <laughs> chance. I was going anywhere near it. So I've got uh, Jay here now. How are you getting on? So, uh, tired, as usual. Yeah, you'd be all right. One foot in front of the other. Keep me head down. How's the uh, reservoir hooch? <laughs> <laughs> Is yeah. it saturated? <laughs> we know where to get a drink and we run out of water. Oh, no, you're all right, Jay's gooch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Betty! <laughs> so we just got to the National Trust car park at Air Force now. So our next leg of the journey, which is up to Glen Ridding. It's about three and a half mile. Bring it on. So, road section now. Just follow this for about three and a half miles. And then, if the lads want to, a lot of pint. <laughs> no, 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 mate, not today. It's, uh, it's all about the walk today, I, mate. Have you ever heard so much rubbish, you know, in your entire life? As soon as he sees the boozer, they'll be like, oh, let's go in here. Let's go in here. <laughs> when, it's, when it's alcohol free, yeah, 
So we've just had a little stop there for some uh, some whiskey oh, and the old it flask I brought with me. Some uh, Glenlivet Founders Reserve American Oak. Oh, better! <laughs> Right. <laughs> so we just passed the Glencoin car park and we're on our way to Glen Ridden now. Do 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 Sunday lunch. Oh, Betty. <laughs> Little boat house down there. Full of dead people. <laughs> like a scene out of a horror movie. Okay. Right. Thumbs up. Good luck. So we've got a place fell just in front of us there. Bit of a monster. So just off off the road now. Nice little path. Following these signs. Onwards. So just like to compliment the National Trust the signage on this walk they're everywhere so you can't get lost so i doff my hat with my bald head yes oh betty the stairway to heaven oh we're running it we're running it we're running it get out of the way mike Yeah, I'm going home now. <laughs> so we've just been talking about weather conditions from this morning to, to now. It's really warm this morning. So a couple of the, the steeper bits on Garbarrow were a bit more difficult. But now, now we're near the shoreline, a lot cooler. It's a lot easier going on the feet. And we're about halfway there now. So we're absolutely smashing it. I think we're less than four and a half hours in. So going strong. Everyone all right, guys? Yes, boys. Good day. Mike. Good day, Mike. Uh, Slim Diesel. Looking the same colour as his t-shirt, but he's doing it. Come on, lad. Oosh. Oosh. Oh, oh, they have a half lip. <laughs> Guys just found his new gaff. <laughs> Got me B and B for the night. Happy days, lad. Happy days. Pale ale and B&B. &B. <laughs> B&B stands for bedding boot. <laughs> bedding boot. Cheeky pint halfway around, guys. Be rude not to, on it? In the in the Rambles bar in Glenridden. Oh, so good. Thatcher's goal for me. Angelo Peretta for Gaz. I think them two are drinking Coca-Cola. <laughs> Posh gaff. So we're all recharged after a paint, electrolytes replenished. Feel better now after that, Jay? Much better. Bit of a sit down. Oh, it was a well deserved pint anyway. One of many. So we've just let's go and ready now. On our way to Patterdale. And it's on the other side then. We're getting there. Right, Mike? Yes. So 
just leaving Patterdale now. Heading over to Howtown, to the new section. We're on the opposite side of the lake now. So we're over halfway there. Winning. Just going over this uh, cattle grate. Walk over it on camera. Yeah, how are we feeling, boys? Yeah, good. It's been Pints. a lovely walk. Weather's Green great. Company's great. Feet aren't like Nambridge yet, so 10 mile in, so we're all good. Um, yeah, well, like, a, like a Warby's toasty. Yeah, like a Warby's yeah. fins. Warby's fin. There is also about. other things you can buy out there, just not Warburton's. Yeah, just a bit across the board. Just there, across yeah. the board, mate. Very, you know, very uh, diverse. Diverse community in that. We now have a top of the as well. Where we going? So what song are we going for lads? What are we going for guys? I think Pink Panther's up there. <laughs> Pink Panther's up there. So guys, what are you doing tomorrow? I'm doing absolutely sweet FA tomorrow, boys. What are you What are you doing, Mike? I'm doing absolutely nothing. Oh, I'm going to do absolutely nothing as well. Jay, what are you doing? I'm working tomorrow. Thank you. Seven five. Up Seven early five. as well. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, Betty. One mile walk today, and then two thousand seven hundred steps and <laughs> two patrols tomorrow. That's done in an hour. That's not taking you over eleven hours of patrol. Enjoy. Well worth double time, my mate. <laughs> but I get an Uber in the morning, so. <laughs> So, uh, Gaz is having a bit of a, mal a, ma a wardrobe malfunction. Got a bit of a rip in the old, uh, oh, yeah, in the old arse. Does anyone know where you can pick up a pair of pants with a 29 inch leg? Please, please drop and leave them. Leave them please, please. I've got legs like a donkey on its back. Yeah. Like the fawn from Narnia. Six foot two with a 29 inch leg. I'm all torso. <laughs> Stop for a little break on the pasta. Got a sandwich there. Guys, what are you want? That's what Gaz is eating. What are you on? You've had about six apples. About three apples. You should eat two oranges. <laughs> and about two bacon sandwiches. You should eat some What are you on, Mike? Chicken tikka. Chicken tikka. Oh, very, very Asian. I was on a um, corned beef, mustard, and red onion. Nice. And the cheese topped with muffin. Oh, fatty! Oh, matron! <laughs> Wasn't a bad view for lunch. Right, so the stop to eat. And the next stop is Howtown. And then after that, it's the last section before we get to Pooley Bridge, which will be back to the car. It's been very, very enjoyable. Tiring, but enjoyable. Very magnificent. Asking a fucking farmer for a spare trailer for you to get in the back of them and take your own. You can have some fucking hay and lie in the back of that, you pig. Oh. Yeah, Gaz is getting at the fact that my backside is hanging. <laughs> the methane smog. And there is a uh, stark contrast in terrain it's on, on this side than it is on the other side. A lot of grasslands on. The other side, this is very, very rocky all the way. I don't think 
That's literally been all the way, hasn't it? Yeah. We've not had any, uh, it's been relentless. So it's taking a bit of a pounding on our feet at the minute. I know where uh, Jay's struggling with his, uh, his arch to his foot. And that is due down to this terrain. But we plough on. How town next? It's just around the corner. <laughs> Steps of doom. Also, oh, there's a staircase of doom. How's it a bit further up, Gaz? Hey. How's it a bit further up? So, hello. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate this walk? high up there and obviously I'm not a big walker so I can't compare it to a lot but yeah uh, it's got a bit of everything a bit of toughness a bit of great views wildlife good places for beer ticks a lot of the boxes in my eyes for a walk yeah. anyway yeah it's so, high on my list it's enjoyable yeah yeah it's enjoyable that's what I find it's tough because obviously the length of the route and there's a lot like like you said there's a lot of, a lot of terrain that you need to go over especially on this side and it's yeah, this is this, this side, is definitely this tough. Side's cruel. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is cruel. Yeah, the other side, I won't say simple, but it was it was a lot easier going, wasn't it? Yeah. Steady. Yeah, yeah. Steady. You, Do you, you think, Mike? Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Yeah. yeah. You got any more to elaborate? <laughs> no, that's it. Yeah, that's that's that's. Mike's, that's a, man, Mike's a man of many talents. Talking to a camera isn't one. He's got a new nickname, by the way, uh, Julius Caesar. He just storms off. Mike's like a Roman soldier. <laughs> Don't stop. Yeah. One, one of us could be dying and he'd, he'd, he'd just be he walking on. He wouldn't know. know. Just keep he's, going. Si he's six foot seven, I think. Keep he's got a, he's got a stride width of about seven foot. So you got a few nicknames now, haven't you? <laughs> Peter, Peter Crouch. Peter Crouch. Slim <laughs> Julius Caesar, Slim Diesel. Talking it, Mike. He's racking him up. <laughs> All hail Caesar! <laughs> <laughs> oh, free cheese for Caesar! Yep. Hooray! 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 Cracking views. I'll be glad to see the back of this path. Right. Be glad to see the back of it. Tough terrain. Looks like we're dropping down now, so we can't be far from Hotel. And a well-earned sandwich. Use a gar barrel now, where we were before. Betty. <laughs> so Mike and Jay have got a little bit of a chafing going on, but it's good job. That man there has brought some nappy cream with him. Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. Thinking ahead. Slap it on lad. <laughs> Get it soothed. And through the toughest of times, they just had to crack on. And they will get there. Just think, just think of them 26 floors tomorrow, mate. I'll get you there. Yeah, just think of them, mate. 26 floors and the lifts are broke. Ooh. Ow. Rita. Mmm. This is when you go in the middle of nowhere. I've had no service on my phone for the last one. For ages. Like a young round Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> so we can just see in the distance there where we've got to get to, that little mound. That's where we parked. So we've still got quite a lot to go. We thought we was in Howtown before, but apparently it's down this way. It's uh, deceptive. That last bit, toughest I've ever walked on. It was hard work. 
So we'll just finally get into Hull Town now. It's been like the place that you can't get to, hasn't it? Right. It's been a place that we just didn't, never thought we'd get to. It's been a never ending path to it. I feel like we're just moaning now, just, just for the sake of moaning. <laughs> It has been a long one. Jay's just uh, back there. Can't miss him. I got the power. Ding, 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 ding. What's this I see in front of us? <laughs> Would it be tarmac? <laughs> Thank God for that. Stunning little town over there. Where the mountains are worth a few bob. And the views in the valleys. Like a nice hotel. So not much filming's been going on the last hour or so. It's been a long slog on this road that we're on. But we're about half an hour away from the car. And we've nearly done it. Hope we might not far away now. Slog. <laughs> it's been Absolutely the toughest slug. thing ever, hasn't it? It's been hard, guys. Yeah, Gaz is. The yeah. first 10 miles were great. Um, you do this five and a half miles of terrain that's just batters your feet and legs, but we're still there half an hour out. It's been a good one. That's enjoyable. A, good one. a lot enjoyable. more enjoyable than Scarfell Pike for me, anyway. <laughs> and he's not got damn bad feet. That oh, hey. There may be an update on that when we get to the car. <laughs> but yeah, not long to go. Well, the weather's been absolutely amazing, hasn't it? Well, that's for, it's been warm in parts, especially that section where it was really rocky. But it was um, very, very warm. So that took it out of us as well. Jay's suffering with his foot. Gaz is suffering with his foot a little bit. Mike's got a bit of chafe, and I'm just dirty all over. Oh, Betty! The end is in sight. <sighs> so that's us at the end of the Ulls Waterway. So there's the plaque confirming it. Back in Pooley Bridge. It has been. The toughest thing ever, I think. I think we're all, all in agreement with that. Yeah, it's, it's been the toughest often. thing ever. Yeah, it was hard. I've struggled the back end because of wear and tear on my feet, but it's enjoyable. Yeah, but we did it for a really good cause as well. So, yeah. like I said, I put the link in the description for the uh, Just Giving page. So if you, if you can give two p if you want to give two p. Everything goes to the charity. And we just want to say thank you for watching because. It's been a good in that, yeah. that's been an achievement. And just right? to make you aware guys, walking's a great thing for the mind. So as we said, we've done this for a charity. But when it comes to mental health, all aspects, walking can help. Helps you get out in yeah. the fresh air. It's a big help and remember to talk to people. Yeah. People out second there to that. talk, fresh yeah. air, walk, try and get some exercise, keep the mind busy. Yeah, I'll second that mate. Yeah. Right, thank you for watching. I shall see you on the next one. Bye.